Hey, what's up everybody? So I got a full tank of gas and today I'm driving through the Everglades. Woo! So when I was a kid, I was really into reptiles and I watched, uh, I watched Animal Planet and Discovery Channel all the time. And I saw a lot of documentaries about the Everglades and uh, I just read about it and all kinds of stuff. So it is so cool for me to actually like be here. Big Cypress. So I pulled over on the side of the road at this uh, visitor center. There's a big old gator right here. Woo! <laughs> so I counted six gators right there. That was pretty freaking awesome, man. Let's go find some more. Woo! So I'm in a really pretty area. I wanted to tell you guys real quick about uh, what happened yesterday because it was quite the adventure. I went to sleep at about 3 a.m. I stayed up all night because I was thinking about uh, entrepreneurship and living my passion and everything else. And I woke up at about, I, I think it was 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning and my van was shaking all over the place. I thought that maybe there were people outside like rocking the thing around. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I, I pulled out my earplugs and I heard the wind and I was like, oh my God, this is some crazy wind. And I looked at my phone and it was flashing red and I've never seen it flash red. It only flashes blue when I get notifications. So I looked at it and it said tornado in area, seek shelter immediately. I was like, oh my God. And there was thunder and lightning and crazy heavy rains and the wind was just insane. It was the most intense storm I'd ever, I'd ever been in. And uh, so I was like, oh my God, what do I do? You know, so I threw on my clothes real quick and I drove around to the other side of the Walmart I was parked at, to the, uh, to the back side where the, the building, the Walmart building blocked the wind a little bit. So it, it reduced the shaking and I figured if there was a tornado then it would probably block it. Like it would hit the Walmart before it hit my van if it was following the wind. So I parked back there and I stayed up for another like hour or two, just like waiting to make sure the tornado was gone or that it didn't come or whatever. And uh, I finally got back asleep and then I woke up at my normal time at 10, 30 or 11 and I just didn't have enough sleep and I was so tired. I'm getting even closer to Antarctica. I've completely lost track of how many airboat rides places I've seen. Man, on the way back through here, on the way back up from the Keys, I'm definitely going on an airboat ride. That sounds so fun. So it looks like I got through the Everglades way faster than I thought I would. I thought it was going to take a couple hours, but it felt like I was only driving for a half an hour. It's only 2 o'clock now, and it's only 142 miles to the Keys. So I might end up in Key Largo tonight because it's only like 2 o'clock. Like, why not, you know? So I'm in Homestead now, and uh, it's 2.30, and I am only 40 minutes from Key Largo, so I'm just going to head to the Keys today. Uh, it's it's going to happen. And I might end up heading to Key West all the way. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll just make my way through the, uh, through the Keys really slow and explore them and figure out which one I want to stop and try to get some work on. All right, we are now on Highway 1. Woohoo! Key West, 122 miles! Woo I am now in Key Largo and made it to the Keys! Woohoo! Yeah! All right, guys, so my battery's a little more charged up now, and my consultant told me about this beach called Annie's Beach. Check this out. Welcome to Tropical Paradise. So I've decided to head all the way to Key West tonight, uh, but first, I think before I get there, I don't, I don't think I'll make it there before, uh, before sunset, but I'm gonna try to find a perfect place to pull over and document and share my first Keys sunset. Woohoo! Ow! I am on a bridge going over the ocean right now. You can see it, you can be it, baby, woohoo! Wow, the sunset's really starting to kick in and it's 360, man. I need to get a 3D camera, <coughs> or not 3D, but a 360 camera to film one of these. The sunset is everywhere around me and the sun is still really high up in the sky. This is gonna be the most incredible sunset I've ever seen. I already know it. It's, it's already like getting there. I've never seen a completely panoramic 360 degree sunset like this. It's unreal. 
So now I'm looking for a good place to pull over and do a time lapse of the sunset because it is absolutely breathtaking. Oh my God. And it looks like this is gonna be it. So my DSLR does not do time lapses, but I have this handy app on my phone. It's called Microsoft something uh, Hyperlapse. So I just set this up and press record and it, it records for 20 minutes and then, um, then it stops. And then I have to start a new one. So I just have to keep super careful to make sure that uh, I am paying attention to it. This is really the video for tonight. I'm gonna, after this, head to Key West and get this video edited, uploaded, and do some exploring. I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, plenty of footage from Key West. Woo! Love yourself.